Hello my soccer universe. Turns out I have a hard time falling asleep again. I fell asleep with my kids, went to my bed eventually and now I'm wide awake again. And yeah, since I don't have a video really ready for tomorrow, I haven't watched any games tonight and I'm not sure how many I will watch tomorrow since, you know, Easter, family, all that kind of stuff. Let's see how it will go. Let's do another shirt video and initially I thought I'll do this shirt, the 15-16 Valencia, but then I said let's finish my Milan collection. And actually the 15-16 Valencia is fitting with it because I have here the last one is the 15-16 Milan shirt. That's the last Milan shirt so far that I've got and I love it a lot except for two little things. I love the red and black stripes and that it's really all so the sleeves are striped but I and I didn't really realize this until I got it because the first few uh, drafts that I saw I wasn't sure about the color of the red but when I saw it on the play oh this is a dark red to me that the red is a little bit too dark that's the one thing and they went for a kind of darker theme because also the three stripes of Adidas are also grayish and this was the time when Adidas actually um, went for unicolored kits you know I don't know Bayern that season was wearing uh, dark red stripes uh, Real Madrid was wearing also very uh, like off-white stripes so it almost seemed like they wanted to uh, get rid of the branding it's a little bit damning in the sense that you know here you have the white Adidas logo and it doesn't match up with the stripes I think this is always here we have uh, it doesn't match up here too but it stays within uh this um the template in, in in a way so that's the one thing that i really don't like but if you look a little bit at on the red straps it's actually quite interesting how it's actually textured there is always a little black dot in there i found this a very interesting material of course the reason why i got it is not because of i mean it was after the 14 15 million shirt and also the 13 14 which kind of uh and you saw the 12 13 uh the one with the thick stripes and it this was the first um milan look again and the classic stripes i mean i like my milan jersey with this width of striping and uh 14 15 was probably the worst Milan jersey I've ever seen. That doesn't mean I don't want to get it, but um, back then I didn't want to. And this had the St. George's Cross crest. And then I put another one out with the St. George's Cross crest that was a lot better looking. And that's the reason why I got this one. This beautiful original Milan crest. And here you have actually the Milan logo a little bit in there. Um, that's the main reason why. I got this shirt um, that's of course uh, in reference to the city of Milan the first Milan jersey ever had exactly this crest it is not the centenary jersey you know that that's my that that's one of my holy grails is this uh, Milan centenary jersey um, with the thin red and black stripes and, and a similar crest as this one it not quite though, because it doesn't have the Milan logo in there but yeah, that's the main reason why I got this one and I really, really like it. I like the cut. I just wish that the red was a little bit brighter, although it does not look bad, but I wish that the red was a little bit brighter. And that the, the gray here was maybe more of a, a, could be white, could be red. I think this would make this uh, even a better looking jersey. There's one weird thing. If you look at the black panels that contain actually the three stripes, I never understand why it has to extend down here and then the sleeves are kind of um, a little bit cut. If you look at it, the paneling, I mean, they really insert here the triangle for no apparent reason. I think you could have used just one piece to make the sleeve and then have the three stripes go over. You don't need to make this extra panel, uh, especially here on the back. Let's see. Here you can actually see the seams. If they cut, make this material go over to have the strap, I think it would make a lot more sense. Um, 
here it makes more sense because this is one piece so that's maybe the third little downer uh, there's the new Milan word mark that came out around this time not a huge fan of it but they're still using it you also can get see it already the ventilation uh, I think that's the only really ventilated panel on the whole shirt is the one here in the back I want to see I got this is an XL size uh, anything else I can show you yes uh, the sides the striping doesn't go all around as the sides are mostly black but don't bother me too much and then the tail of the jersey and Adidas uses um, in this season a lot of tails is also pure black so the bottom is a pure black and then there's a one little thing uh, you know how I said at least already 12 13 but baby basically after I that was kind of the last time I really want to see an Italy flag there has been an Italy flag on the Milan jersey ever since here it is on the bottom and it's actually kind of interesting because there's this colorful and I think this was from the expo that was held in Milan so I actually can defend this one uh, as something that is not necessarily so in your face uh, Italy branding uh, one more look at the back as I said it's I think it's a pretty decent jersey just make the red a little bit lighter uh, if they use this shade of red here it would be perfect that's I from that reason if I would have to rate this I would give this an eight star because I mean the overall design is great Milan didn't play all that well in this jersey um, but I remember a 3 0 victory in the derby against Inter when everything looked going up again and then in typically Milan fashion when it goes to the end of the season oops, goes down again that's at least Milan fashion as of late well we'll see how it goes this year let me know what you think about this jersey um, almost my go-to Milan jersey as of late uh, short-sleeved go-to Milan jersey um, it's very nice to wear let's put it Anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey, whether you agree with me that, you know, there's just a few things to be um, changed. Um, it is a little bit an old jersey, but it's definitely not the oldest jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I hope to get a little bit more sleep and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.